Welcome to this session on identities. This is the first module where we focus on Azure Active Directory. Let's go and take a step back where we'll talk about Active Directory and then how it connects to Azure Active Directory. So let's draw some pictures and try to understand this better. On your premise, you always had certain domain controllers. A domain controller is a server where you will go ahead and create users, groups, organization units, group policies, etc. Now, you also had certain applications on premise. Think about timesheets applications, right? Where you used to go ahead and fill up timesheets or maybe HR based applications as well. Now, in today's modern world, we have all of these applications going to the cloud. Think about Office 365 or think about Workday, right? How about Concour, which is a famous travel application? Now we've got all of these applications in the cloud. These are all considered as SaaS based applications, right? Now, since we have these apps in the cloud, we also want these identities in the cloud to have a better form of authentication and authorization. So that's where Azure Active Directory comes into picture. Now we will have users, groups created in Azure Active Directory, and then you can allow them to access these applications or you can have the existing set of identities let's call them as user1 user2 or rather give them real names let's say joe or mark right you want these users to log into cloud based applications then you need to have some kind of a synchronization method for these guys to access their applications and this synchronization is done with the help of a connector called as ad connect this connector runs on your premise on one of the member servers and it will synchronize your on-premise identities to Azure Active Directory and this will assist your users now in the cloud let's call them as again Joe and Mark because these users Joe and Mark got synchronized to Azure AD they can then log into your cloud-based applications Today, it's very important and paramount to have your identities in the cloud. And that is primarily for not just for accessing applications, but to have a better control on security. So your Azure Active Directory will be circling around several other parameters. So think about conditional access, multi-factor authentication, role-based access controls. Well, these are all embedded and integrated into Azure Active Directory. So with all these identities in the cloud, you can have a better focus on role-based access controls as well as on the security. This module is all about how you can provision the users in the cloud and allow them access to those applications. Let's get started.